Good Morning Kenora is made possible by proud supporters like Swift Cash, who support public television in Kenora. Good morning, Kenora. Good morning. Happy, happy Monday. And Jack Monday. Dawson. I'm back. You are now in the mm -hmm. chair sitting with us. Yeah. That is awesome. For a little while anyway. Yeah. If you'd like to co-host, good morning, Kenora, <laughs> give us a call. <laughs> we'll put anybody beside Tracy. <laughs> Literally, we will because guess who's here? Because I'm here. There That's you right. go. There you go. I'm doing the newsman. You're <laughs> <laughs> See, it's, it's actually kind of funny because all the stuff that you would give us heck for, you're doing. I know. Yes, <laughs> hang I on, know. Hang on, let me put my phone on the table and let it ring. Somebody phone me. Oh, somebody did. <laughs> Just kidding. And you're shuffling papers. And, I know. Oh, that's my tribute to Justin Kakis. There you go. And he's always, the funny thing is, Kakis, the entire time he was here, he always wanted to go, stay classy, Kenora. And he never got to do it, and I just did it. So he's at home cursing the TV right now. There you go. Hi, Justin. So, we miss you. We do. It's been wow, I've only been here 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Trust us, we miss you. Yes. <laughs> it's not very well, nice. Well, it's a beautiful set. Sunday morning today. It is. It is. What's the weather going to be looking like for the rest of the week? I don't know. Oh, wait. You want to do Okay. Yeah, you I know. Mean. So the weather for... Uh, we'll get them doing this game. <laughs> <laughs> weather today, we have a high of 14, a low of 4 with some scattered showers. Tomorrow, Tuesday, we have a high of 18, a low of 4 with some scattered showers. Interesting. Yeah. So what you guys doing this weekend? Uh, Friday I had some folks over to my place. We just kind of uh, had a bit of a get-together. Saturday was just sort of a nice easy day. Went, uh, went to Dryden to uh, have supper and came back. And then Sunday uh, was house cleaning day and I did a photo shoot Sunday night. So there it was, you go. It's sort of, it was jam-packed. My weekends were busy. There you go, because so. you're young again. I am young again. <laughs> Reliving my youth I lost 20 years ago. Wow. <laughs> 20 years ago. That's I know. Awesome. It's true. Wow. I wish I could lose some of my youth from 20 years ago. Lose or re revamp? Oh, no. I think I've, I'm still paying for some of the yeah. my yeah. youth from yeah. 20 years ago. I, uh, so. I'm, I'm catching up again. Are you? Yeah. It's all, it's all this free time. Well, it's, 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 you sit there and you're like, what am I going to do today? Hmm. So I now I got nothing free time. The, the kids are gone, so I get my kids back tonight, which is nice because now all of a sudden I'm and you're busy. Again. There's structure back. I know. There, there you go. Otherwise, I just lie on the couch. I just would not get off the couch some days because you're like, I don't have to. It's kind of nice. Well, I kind of just delegated and was sort of the project manager of getting my yard cleaned up. So <laughs> project manager. So you watched people clean up your yard. Sort of, kind of. <laughs> but nice. it's, it's important that I delegate. So because it's it's a big yard. And the spring, I hate the spring because there's all so much garbage, and I don't know where all the garbage comes from, like in the spring. Do you own a pet? Do I own a pet? Yeah, yeah. I have a cat. Do you have a dog? No. Okay. So your yard's not as bad as my yard. Well, I think it is because I think what happens is, yeah, no, I don't know why it happens. I don't know. But the, the load of brush and the, and the branches and everything, like there was like six big, huge garbage bags of just like leaves and, and brush and stuff all over it but like now it's looking nice because it's it's whippersnip for the first year and for the first time this season and i have to thank my brother and my nephew and and uh, a buddy from work there that all kind of came and helped me so so i think your problem is, is when you do it once every 10 years it seems like a heck of a lot oh you know everybody keeps telling me that he must have told me like 10 times yesterday okay now all you have to do is just keep mowing it that's all you have to do tricks and, it's, and so i'm going like so are you telling me that all i have to do is mow it now because like yeah that's the grass will grow but now you just got to keep cutting it. <laughs> so I got it. I got to cut the are grass you? more than once this summer. Are you going to cut it? Or yeah, no, I don't mind cutting the grass. It's the whippersnippering thing, but uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not good at it. And I do, I do want to try to, I have a couple of little, um, like little flowery bed things. <laughs> I don't even know what the proper term is. You're such a gardener. I, I know. <laughs> I, you know what? I want to try to be more <laughs> earthy. So I have a girlfriend that has done all of her own. So I'm just like landscaping that. So I want to try to see if 
if she can come over, but I, I think I'm going to have to like buy her lots of booze and everything because I, I could be, <laughs> I'm probably going to be quite trying because <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> at least you're trying. At least you're getting you, you want to try. What is it? I'm not a green it. thumb. That's right. No, I'm not. But at least I want to try. That's I'd right. like to get because like these people have like there's people that have such nice flowers and I want to yeah. try to have some nice flowers instead of just these I don't know weeds or something. <laughs> <laughs> weeds are flowers too. Yeah, but they're not as pretty. No. 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 What'd no. you do? Um, I'm lucky. My wife likes hockey. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of hockey on this weekend. Literally from like 11 a.m. to like 1 in the morning, there'd be hockey on. Mm -hmm. And then potty training. You yeah. haven't learned that yet? <laughs> yeah. No, it's been tough she for had to me. Do that for you? <laughs> As I get older, you know, I'm going backwards. No. Are you getting better? <laughs> yeah. I can hit the rim. See, he's reliving his youth now, too. That's there right. You know. Chris go. has got nothing on me. No, so it was uh, a couple full days of just go, go, go. And he's. He's on the positive side of it right now. So, nice. Yeah. It's yeah. always good to be on the positive well, side. Well, we look at each other like we're both, my wife and her, like, we're kind of lazy. And then we're like, well, no, it's kind of, it's a boy thing. It really <laughs> is. Boys are lazy. <laughs> I'll only admit it now. Hopefully she's not watching because I'm admitting she's right. Oh. <laughs> so this tape, unfortunately, this tape will not make it to YouTube today. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, well, <Duncan>. I see <laughs> the nice shirt that you, like, you are you wearing. Like, you like, the Shaw look at, KBI. Hand. Like that? shirt which i miss wearing i actually have to admit that and i wish i would have i still have it so i ran home told and, me. i ran have home and grabbed it jack i didn't even think of it until duncan actually texted me this morning and says should i go shirt and tie or skbi duncan shirt and tie no <laughs> duncan <laughs> okay well nice shirt to me is shirt and tie sorry so, so, speaking so of i which, said go skbi that means that Duncan McEwen, chair of Shaw Kenora Bass International, is on the program with us today. He is. And it's a big year this year. For many reasons. 25 years. Shaw Dome. Shaw Dome. Oh, is that what do you call it? The Harbor Dome? Yep. Harbor Dome. At the Harbor Dome. <laughs> Shaw Dome would mean we'd have to put, never mind. Yeah, there's like <laughs> tons going on, so you don't really want to miss all this because it's going to be a great, great year for them and for Shaw and everything so lots of changes so we'll lots get to all changes. those a little bit later mm -hmm. absolutely what do you guys want to do i'm just i'm just going to kind of sit here i'm used to being on the headset yeah. so every time chris says something that is funny yeah. i would say something <laughs> and now i see dan's oh, like doing gonna, it gonna, when we're talking i know and dan and now i'm like oh i'm missing something yeah. i still want to wear the headset so i can hear what so i'm like, missing dan, you have to like cue me like if someone's like brown nose and you gotta throw me the box of kleenex that's you right have to like do all that well, big shoes to fill that's there right. <laughs> well, isn't, it called, isn't it called leading the witness? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or the blind leading the blind? <laughs> I don't know. Either or. All right, so we'll do a quick break. We'll do news out at the end of the show, I guess. And we'll do a quick so break I, and get Duncan. I guess you just said that. Yes, so I guess yes, that's sir, what we will do. And direct from yes, here. Yes, direct your host, Jack Dawson. <laughs> Jack Dawson. All right, so quick break, and then Duncan McEwen when we come back. Stay tuned. Wind & Water Interiors is a proud supporter of Good Morning Kenora and public television. From brand name window coverings, design services and cabinetry to furniture and accessories, they're bringing style back to life. Wind & Water Interiors. Lake of the Woods Insurance is a proud supporter of public television. For all of those unexpected challenges you may face in the workplace, Lake of the Woods Insurance can be there to help you. Lake of the Woods Insurance, where customer satisfaction is insured. All a part of everything and I go only where my heart will bring Together, we can help hungry Canadians. Join millions in the Shaw community and fill our local food banks together with Campbell. Visit togetherisamazing.com and donate today. Hi, I'm here to give you some more information on our Fill the Food Banks 2012 campaign that we have running. You can go to the Shaw YouTube page and you will see a video. And for each unique view of this video, Shaw will donate $1 up to a maximum of $250,000 and Campbell's Canada will donate one pound of food up to a maximum of 250,000 pounds. Tune in every morning for Good Morning Kenora and we will update you on where the drop-off boxes are and you can also remember to stop into the Shaw Retail Office in Kuwaitin because we will be accepting donations here as well. So we hope you can also join us at the April 28th food drive at No Frills and Safeway. Come on out and support your local food banks. 
Good Morning Kenora would like to thank Bestway Rentals and Sales for supporting public television. They've got air conditioning systems and aqua lily pads for the summer, heaters, heavy equipment rentals, and more. Bestway Rentals and Sales. Good morning, Kenora would like to thank Swift Cash for supporting public television. There's so much more than cashing checks and payday loans. They offer a wide range of other services, from parcel pickup and delivery to comic books, Swift Cash, and so much more. And we're back with good friend, co-worker that we used to work with for doing this is Duncan McEwen, chair of the Shaw Kenora Bass International. Good morning, Duncan. Good morning, guys. Thank you for being on here. This is an exciting, exciting year. We have our hands full this year, yeah. We're going to put on a, a bigger show probably than years past just due to the uh, milestone silver anniversary. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it. Well, uh, we've got um, a new boat parade that we're trying to pull off to start things off maybe on the Tuesday of the week uh, leading up to the tournament. Um, that's still to be decided, but I think that's what it's looking like. Um, obviously, the new venue down at the tent, um, that'll be a big thing. And then a whole lot of new visual aids, trying to clean up the stage, mm -hmm. make it a little more modern looking with uh, some new visual aids and TV screens and that sort of thing. And so have you been able to have a chance to go down? I know we were just talking a little couple of minutes. You're going to be meeting down there just to see the logistics because, yeah. you know, if, if people don't know what goes on behind the scenes of trying to get the Shaw KBI going, it, it is like <clears throat> a year-round project. And for, for 24 years of being able to just, even though it's it was like this anyway and it's still so much programming, having a totally new venue where it's almost... Is it backwards, or is it still? We don't know yet. We're uh, <laughs> there. You go. We're meeting Surprise down everyone. there. Meeting down there this Wednesday, and okay. and at we're seven. going to at seven. Right, right during forget. bingo. Ah, sorry. Am I steal <laughs> am I stealing your, uh, your target audience? No, Corey even gave me because I I missed the meetings, and I'm like, because Duncan keeps putting them Wednesdays at seven, and I can't make like that for years. Tracy they, had they that. Have, yeah. Anyhow, we'll, we'll revisit <laughs> that. All right, back to you guys. I'm done. <laughs> But no, we'll, uh, I think we're going to bring a boat and truck down and try and uh, enact a, the, the parade route or the, the top 10 boat parade mm -hmm. we're talking now, see how that works with the new, uh, new venue. Uh, there, there are challenges ahead, but we're mm -hmm. up for it. We've got good energy with the board, and uh, I'm, not, I'm not too concerned yet. No. Mm -mm. And so the boat parade, if, um, if anyone has followed either Shaw KBI or the, even the Fort Francis one, the boat parade is a little bit new. Uh, if anyone's gone down to Fort Francis to see their bass tournament, uh, I'm not even sure if they still do it. Yes, they, yeah, they, they do. do. And Dryden. Yeah. Dryden as well this year. Okay, and but last they, year. they kind of do a, a, before the, before the uh, tournament actually starts, they get as many boaters, whoever want to come in and do a thing, parade through town, get all the spectators out, and it's kind of like um, an enhancement of what the boat, the top 10 boat parade is, mm -hmm. but it won't just be... Everybody's um, welcome. Everyone's <laughs> welcome, yeah. It's not just going to be the top 10, because of course, going into the, the third day of the boat parade, we never know until that day who the top 10 is going to be, so at whoever's... The, at the end of day two, Yeah. it's, it's determined. But it's, it's going to be different, like hopefully there'll be more boats... And on the Tuesday, that, sure. On the Tuesday, for sure. Yeah. How many teams are there in total? 150 if we're full. So uh, what are you going to do if 150 boats say, yeah, we want in? <laughs> we'll have to uh, give the local OPP a uh, call. <laughs> <laughs> we need backup. Dave King, Dave King, Dave we King. need your services. <laughs> Have you guys planned the route yet to go how you go through town? On the Tuesday, uh, no. Uh, and like I said, it's either Tuesday or Wednesday. Looking like on the Tuesday, um, we're open to suggestions for anyone who's ever planned a, a parade of this magnitude. It's you know it's similar to a Christmas parade, but mm -hmm. we've got boats and um, and it's summer. We want to be near the lake as much as possible. So we were hoping to start it maybe Super 8 and uh, make our way through town that way and end at the rec center or vice versa, but we've got, we've got to iron out those details still. So I'll have to have you back when, you, when yeah, it's all yeah, down, but it's I, exciting. It's new. It's a new idea. It just came uh, kind of a January meeting mm -hmm. idea, so we're, we're going to do our best to pull it off. 
Any uh, rule changes or anything that you guys are working on for this year? No, I mean, you guys I'm, had a great, uh, successful event last year. Yeah, I don't think uh, any rules. Um, the rules are old, and we've we've worked with them, but uh, it doesn't really affect the outcome of the tournament. We've changed a boundary over at the uh, at the mouth of Shoal Lake Narrows. Uh, just made it a little more clear, but that's not really uh, too. Or what happens in the event of a tie? Um, and the reason why we get oh, to ask. No, we've got that. Yeah, we revisited that. Um, we <laughs> have a rule for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, because if anybody, if, if you pay attention to the, uh, the fishing, yeah. Fort Francis actually had a tie. Right. For and, first place. And it was last year, right after that, that we changed it immediately to be crystal clear so that wouldn't happen. That's right. But do you recall you were, you were at our meetings when we rewrote the rule? It's biggest bag for the day. Biggest bag on day two. Day two, I think. I think it is. something like that. But it, it's written and it's yeah. fair. No surprises. No coin toss. No splitting the pot. Right. Because well, that they had a sorry yeah. they had a huge dilemma. Like it was flip a coin. It was go a out fish, fish off. Yeah. It was run to the dock and first fish. Like it was, <laughs> but it, but there was like an hour delay. Yeah. Because they they, yeah. they were in awe because they I think they got the one one hundredth of an ounce. Yeah. And they were tied. Now, was that tough in the TV world? Well, we would have been. We weren't uh, covering the Fort Francis last year, mm -hmm. but that we would have been. It would have been gone. We, bye. Yeah, we'll <laughs> tune let in. you know who. <laughs> tune in late we'll next year. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's immediately when we came back after that tournament. We, we talked to you like, okay, what's your rule? Yeah. Because we yeah. lose the window. We uh, for anybody that doesn't know, the Bull Parade will be on C, top ten. Will be on CJBN again this year, mm -hmm. and uh, it goes from five to six, I think. I don't, yeah. I don't know the exact, yeah, but it's one hour window, five and there's no, yeah. there's no 601, so we need to know by six who the winner is. So, you guys, you guys did a great job. Like, it was, it was so exciting last year, down to the final two boats. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. Last year was a great year. It was, it was Bennett, really, right? Dave Bennett, Bennett and Labitka. And Labitka yeah. won it. Beating out Gussie. Nice out Gussie and Savvy. Yeah. It's Good always, finish. you know, the thing that I've enjoyed the last couple of years, and you, this is, what is it like four, four years? That I've been there. Like with, with, like with KBR, because we started at the same time, right? Yeah. <laughs> and so I think it's the fourth or fifth. Fourth or fifth. I think it might something. be five. Time but flies. I mean, the, the thing that I've really enjoyed the last couple of years is, I think it was the first year, the year before, was when it was the huge shakeup for first place. And it kind of like juggled the whole top ten, which was... People loved that because mm -hmm. it was like, such, like the, the gentleman that, that won it the year before, wasn't it like he was a fill-in for someone's partner? Carpenter and, and Mandam and yeah. yeah. And it was the first time he ever really ever fished in Close Shaw KBI. And uh, they won. Like, how exciting is that? And so it's nice that things are all juggled around, that it's, it's, it's everyone's, you never know. And that's, that's been the most exciting thing. And, and you've done like a fantastic job with, with, with you guys and, and the directors and I have to admit I kind of like do do miss it a little bit. We enjoy it. We miss you. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> um, but no, it's should I get out of the way? It's anybody's game. Anybody's game, and uh, I think we're always um, right up there for you know on yeah. the edge of your seat kind of tournament. Yeah. Well, I still think it's it's uh, it's it's the best. Even me, that's never, you know, not really a big fisher <laughs> or anything, but K or SKPI. You had never caught a fish or I've, something. I still haven't. I've, I never, I actually had to get, this is a funny story. So we used to do, um, like, we had, had this ice fishing competition. And uh, my good friend, Steve Wintermute, who was one of the commentaries, uh, I'm not sure if he was last year or not, but for a couple of years, um, I had to actually call him before... I could put the photos on in the categories to make sure that they were the right fish. So, like, I just, I just. Is this a walleye? Is this a walleye? Well, I know walleyes now because they always have that little white thing on their tail. White tip, yeah. So, but bass, <laughs> like, I just, you, I think you had to, like, actually, okay, Trace, so this is, so it was, like, the last year, I think. Yeah. That, but, yeah, but you know what, perch, and they're all kind of, like, Perch, small, medium size. I, I mean, you know, is this a musky? But I always enjoyed watching it because the boat parade and seeing all those people and, like, now, especially when Shaw came on board, which was, like, amazing, and seeing it televised and actually seeing the amount of people and then the one year that we had it, it was pouring rain. And, and there was still like <laughs> over 
or 2,000 people down there and under the tent. It's, it's probably one of the most exciting times that you'll see in Kanar like the whole year. And it's, it's, a, it's a great, great event. Anything you want to get out there for this year? 25 years. 25 Huge. years. Thanking Kenora uh, is a big part for those 25 years. Um, 24 years, soon to be 25. Come out and uh, show your appreciation for it um, as well with that, with that fun parade with more details to follow um, on that Tuesday parade. Cool. Okay. So we will have you on again later on once Good. we get more of the details of the lineup for all the events and everything. So, Duncan, thank you very much for coming and joining us today. And I love your matching shirts, the <laughs> total D, total dumb here. Oh, you got categorized with me. Right. Is that me? <laughs> so, I'll be dumb. Okay. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back. Proudly supporting local TV since 1966. Shaw TV. Wind & Water Interiors is a proud supporter of Good Morning Kenora and public television. From brand name window coverings, design services and cabinetry to furniture and accessories, they're bringing style back to life. Wind & Water Interiors. Lake of the Woods Insurance is a proud supporter of public television. For all of those unexpected challenges you may face in the workplace, Lake of the Woods Insurance can be there to help you. Lake of the Woods Insurance, where customer satisfaction is insured. Hey, where'd you get that scar? That? I got that in a bit of a fight in 98 there, JJ. Nice. 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 I got that Raymond, he's always bragging. He knows I got him beat over here with this one. I got blindsided. Look at that. Oh, nice. 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 Look at this one. Look at this one. Half moon. Here we go. How many stables do you get? 45. 45? Oh, I would have thought that. I'll see you soon. Good morning, Kenora would like to thank Bestway Rentals and Sales for supporting public television. They've got air conditioning systems and aqua lily pads for the summer, heaters, heavy equipment rentals, and more. Bestway Rentals and Sales. Good morning, Kenora would like to thank Swift Cash for supporting public television. There's so much more than cashing checks and payday loans. They offer a wide range of other services, from parcel pickup and delivery to comic books, Swift Cash, and so much more. And we're back. Sorry, <laughs> Tracy. Very... <laughs> well, they're slouching. <laughs> <laughs> I was like this. And now I see why you guys do it. It's like comfortable. It's, I know. I see you do everything that you give us heck for. I know. I know. So you can make me sound mean. Give you a heck. I don't give you a heck. <laughs> well, Jack to... Dawson, you're, you're not mean. Jack Dawson. <laughs> yes, right. We don't you're, a <laughs> you're firm but fair, Jack Dawson. My what? You're, you're firm but fair, <laughs> I'm Jack a firm Dawson. but what? <laughs> Tracy, my uh, wife could be watching. Dave King. <laughs> <laughs> Calling Dave King. <laughs> hey, I got That's verbal. Tim, it's, you're calling it on yourself. Dave Kane. Okay. okay. What's going on, Chris? So, <laughs> you're Chris, blushing. Save me. Save Tracy, me. you're blushing. I'm not blushing. Go ahead. So, this is much more entertaining than anything I have to say. I'm just going to sit here. This is awesome. <laughs> he did say that, you know, he's tired today, so he's just going to let us do our well, thing. We're like, what are you talking about? He goes, oh, my God. <laughs> See, you know what? It's not because I'm tired. It's just because with the two of these. <laughs> two of these. Like, so he just, wow. Yeah, just made me, two of these. Just made me yeah. spit all over. I, 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 <laughs> we, can't, I, we can't even help it. <laughs> it's so funny. So last year was a, uh, a record uh, forest fire. She's in lots of yes. forest fires. Uh, last year, so this year the MNR, uh, they're talking about um, staffing up and getting more and more, a few more water bombers in the air to help. And those things, are, I mean, those are pretty impressive rigs. So what they're doing is they've, uh, it's they have nine C, uh, CL four fifteen water bombers, uh, seven based uh, out of Thunder Bay in the Geraldton area. So they're going to make sure that they uh, they man those up and get them to twenty six people trained and get a lot more in the air this year and try to help out the uh, fire season, because I think they're anticipating a, uh, another pretty bad fire season. Mm -hmm. So, and just to think, each of them hold about 6,000 liters of water. Wow. It's crazy. So, yeah, those are impressive. My brother was a firefighter for years, and he said it's actually, uh, it's pretty impressive to watch them. They come down, they scoop up, it takes about 12 seconds to pick up their load, and then they're gone. And then they, they dump it. It's, it's pretty impressive to watch, like, closer up. Because you see them, and, you know, you're pretty far back, and it just kind of looks like a nice mist, he said. But when you're closer to it, it's just like, 
a wall of wood just hitting the ground. Or under it, for that matter. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. You need a pretty big umbrella. <laughs> oh, a little bit. <laughs> yes, I, yeah, that's what they were saying, because it's supposed to be, it's good for sort of people who like to be out on the boats and have the sunny weather, that it is supposed to be a nice hot summer again, yeah. but there's always a flip side, right? So Absolutely. it's going to be more for, forest fires, but it's going to keep a lot of people employed mm -hmm. and everything. So that I guess that's kind of a positive attitude to have too. I guess so. Yeah. I guess so. It's regrowth. It's all about regrowth. Re there re you go. Re what else, Chase? Well, the Special Olympics, um, they're trying to raise some funds. They are going to Thunder Bay uh, the beginning of May uh, for the Special Olympics, and they are going to be at Safeway on April 27th from 9 to 3, and again on the 28th from 10 to 4. Just going to be there trying to raise some funds. Please go out, support them. They're a fantastic group of people. Congratulations to making it to Thunder Bay to go in and participate in these things and to also help them out on those days. Um, the up and coming, I I've, I've hear these this little band. They're going to be like Emmy. What are they called? Like Junos. Grammys. Junos. Well, Junos in Canada. Junos. Anytime <laughs> soon. <laughs> but these freaky green beetles are also going to be out there to help right. perform and to help like entertain and everything. So it should be fun. So I'm, I'm encouraging everyone to go out Saturday and Sunday to uh, help support them. They were, uh, they were on Safeway. I was on Saturday picking up some things. I talked to Pat Lassard, who uh, mm -hmm. is very heavy in The freaky green beetles were playing. So mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. Good. What else you got? Over to you, Jack. No, what else you got? Oh, Harbor Fest. Ha! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just get so excited with this, like Shaw KDI. I you know, notice I didn't. I didn't get a thing. date. I don't have a title. No, but that's okay. Well, I know. Well, because you know, you have to earn. You have to earn the title. I like Corey Lebicka. Wherever I am, and I run into Corey, all I hear is, "Hey, Shaw guy." Yeah. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna get Shaw guy on the back of mine. I think that's. I nice. think that's good. We were you in Walmart. Be. I all hear Shaw guy. Yeah. I like I, my wife's like I go that's Corey without even looking I go that's Corey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love Corey though. Absolutely. But the weekend before Shaw KBI <laughs> is the one and only. It's okay, guys. You can just add yeah. these. Add these. I'm gonna uh, go this way. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> the Harbor Fest weekend, of course, and that is going on August third, fourth, and fifth this year. They are saying that right now. Tickets for Friday night are on sale. Um, they can go to Nibbler's Nook or Donnie B's, and they are on sale, and they are still working out. There's been a whole bunch of bands that are actually coming to them now because it's such a great event, and people want to be in Kenora in the summertime that they're just trying to nail down who's going to be Saturday and Sunday, so we are going to get more information as that, that is coming up. But as of right now, tickets are on sale for Friday night. Over to you, Jack Dawson. Excellent. <laughs> the Canucks are out. And it's a sad day because I know Dan Williamson's a big Canucks fan. I just walked by him this morning and I go, are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> and it was the LA Kings who knocked him out. Which That's is, Mike Richards. It is. Right? I wanted to know if right? it was, because it, it was overtime. <laughs> I'm sitting there watching it last night and I'm like, what if Richards scores the goal that knocks out the Canucks? Because there's a lot of Canucks fans in this town. Mm -hmm. What happens? Is it like one of those Mike Richards, or is it like no, it's hometown, he's a hometown guy? Hometown boy, come on! I'm just asking. Those are the type of questions you want to know. Uh, Philly knocked <laughs> off. One minute. All right, Philly knocked <laughs> off uh, Pittsburgh, which is huge because, well, that's the way it is. Don't forget about our food drive. Togetherisamazing.com. Uh, click the link for YouTube, as Kim said earlier in the show, and up to two hundred fifty thousand dollars could be donated by Shaw uh, for matching every time you click the link. If you want to drop off food anywhere around town, you can go to City Hall, Kenora Library. I was going to give you half of them. Kenora Library, Kuwait Library, <laughs> OBP Reddit Detachment, East Highway Detachment, uh, Lake of the Woods Museum, Copperfin, Kuwaitan, and Kenora, Pinecrest, Bank of Nova Scotia. Shaw Retail in Kuwaitan, Ted's No Frills, Safeway Rec Center, Home Show Booth 28, and Treaty 3 Police. And remember that we will also be at No Frills on Safeway on Saturday, April 28th. Go to weather quick. Go to weather quick. Chris! Go, 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 Chris! Go, go. Oh, you might have to go fast. Go hurry, right, hurry. High 14, low of 4. Tomorrow, <laughs> high of 18, low of 4. And we will be back tomorrow, <laughs> but I'll be back Wednesday. Good morning, Kenora. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao.